Today we're going to learn how to make things slide inside our website using jQuery. And as you guys can see in front of me here, I have very basic navigation and I also have an information box inside the website. Now again, this is kind of what we had in the previous episode. And for you guys who didn't watch the previous episode, you guys can download these files in the description if you want to do the exact same thing as I'm doing inside my website here. Again, the effect we're going to learn in this episode doesn't require that you have exactly what I have inside my website. We're basically just going to learn how to slide things using jQuery. And you can just go ahead and build whatever you want to build inside this example here if you want to. So what we're going to do today, like I said, is we're going to go ahead and make things slide. And when I say slide, I mean that we want to make things close and open by closing from the bottom to the top. Now, an example of this, and the reason I included this information box here, is that if I were to have some information inside this box and I want to be able to open or close it, then by clicking the title, for example, we want this box down here to slide up or down. Now, if you guys are not entirely sure what I mean when I say open and close by sliding, I'm going to go ahead and show you guys an example now. So inside our code, I'm going to go ahead and go down to the bottom where we have the jQuery code. Now, again, this is from the previous episode. And as you guys can see, we basically say that we want to wait with loading this jQuery code until after we loaded everything else inside the website. Then afterwards, we have a selector that chooses the navigation button, which right now is the one that's inside my header up here. Now, when I click it, I want this navigation to open or close by sliding upwards. So if I were to go inside my jQuery code, as you guys can see, I have a slide up effect included in here, which basically means that when I click the button, my navigation is going to slide from the bottom to the top. So by going in here, refreshing, and then clicking the button, you guys can see that the navigation closed from the bottom to the top. Now, if we were to go back inside my code, we could do the opposite by writing slide down. And again, remember to capitalize the D. Then if we were to go back inside my website, as you guys can see right now, when I refresh, it's actually going to open up again. But if the navigation were to have closed, I can then open it again by sliding down. So if you want to have a toggle effect, we can also do that. So we can actually say slide toggle like so. Go back inside the website. And as you guys can see, when I refresh and then click the button, it closes. Then when I click it again, it opens. And again, inside the parentheses after the effect, I can decide how long it should take for it to open and close. I can actually go ahead and say we want to add 10 seconds to this. So I'm just going to add another zero, go back inside my website, refresh. And then you guys can see it slowly closes up. And it's actually going to take 10 seconds before it closes entirely. Now we can also go ahead and add this inside an information box like the one we have here. And this is actually more a typical example that you can see inside websites where you have, you know, maybe a fax page with the title of the, the fact. Then when you click it, you can open up the full text that belongs to that specific title. So if I were to go back inside my code, go down to the bottom here and say, well, after we have this one function inside jQuery that just opens and closes the navigation, we can say we have a, another selector. And this time I want to select the title of my information box. Now, right now, I actually went ahead and gave it a class called info-title. So I'm just going to go ahead and copy this class name, go down inside my jQuery and say inside the selector, I want to select a class called info-title. Then afterwards, when I click on it, I want something to happen. So I'm going to go ahead and say inside the click parentheses, we have a function that needs to run when we do actually click this title here. I'm going to go ahead and add another selector, parentheses, double quotes, and say we want to select the actual content of the information box, which right now have a class as info-content. I'm going to say class info-content, and then that we want to do something to it. So we can also go ahead and add the same effect as up here. Of course, we don't want to have 10 seconds. We're just going to go ahead and say we want to have, let's actually go ahead and say we don't want to have any kind of seconds in here. Just to show you guys, you don't have to have any kind of parameters inside the parentheses. I'm going to save it, open up my website, click the information title. And as you guys can see, it then closes and opens again. So this is how we can add closing and opening effects inside our website using jQuery. And again, when it comes to these effects called slide down, slide up and slide toggle, we can add two different parameters inside the parentheses. We can add the seconds 
either by writing it using a number or we can go and use the string called fast or slow if you wanted to. And then the second parameter is going to be some kind of callback function or something that happens once it's done loading the effect. So we can say we have a function, parentheses, curly brackets, and then we want to alert some kind of message when it's done. And again, we're just going to say hi there. So once it's done sliding, we're going to go ahead and get some kind of message inside the browser. So I'm going to refresh, click it, and then we get the message. So this is how we can add a sliding effect inside jQuery. I hope you guys enjoyed, and I'll see you guys next time.